Okay, this is Lucy Gunn at Fighter Food 2018. I'm, I'm here at the AK stand, joined by Dr. Krishna Kumar. Now, AK is um, aiming to use spices and dietary supplements. And what are some of the, the opportunities and challenges in doing that? Uh, so, uh, actually, uh, for AK, uh, we are around 25 years into uh, spices. The Spiceuticals is our unique brand name for the nutraceutical ingredients and functional food ingredients from spices. Spiceuticals born from the understanding and from the fact that the spices are much more than the simple flavors, food flavors. It has got a, a wide range of biologically active molecules and modern science has uh, revealed many clinical trials to show that its effect and effective pharmacological effects on the body system and its therapeutic potency. But the major challenge with respect to the spices are its taste as well as its aroma. Because of the taste and aroma problem, the spices are not able to consume to the, to the extent with which it can actually deliver a favorable therapeutic efficacy. And in more than that, the bioactive molecules in spices are poorly bioavailable. So the major challenge in using the spices to the nutritional as well as the functional food is to come up with new formulations or green and natural formulations which with very low taste and order profile as well as higher bioavailability. This is what actually we envisage from uh, the trademark spiceuticals and we have succeeded with our own platform delivery technique uh, by which we can isolate, formulate and standardize various, various spice nutrients in its highly bioavailable form suitable for dietary supplements and functional food applications in a green and 100% natural and food grade way. Now what are some of the health areas you're seeing as very interesting for, for such spiceuticals? Uh, for instance, you know, in, if you look at uh, the nutraceutical segment today, the turmeric is one spice which has actually uh, conquered the, uh, the uh, dietary supplement war, uh, market globally. Since this is just because of the astonishing number of publications by the academic people you know, showing its potency as an anti-cancer, nephroprotective, anti-inflammatory agent. We you know it's a lot of applications are there. But the turmeric, the active molecule curcumin, is highly poorly bioavailable. So that is actually a major limitation. So for this one, in a spiceutical way, what we have done is we developed a technology by using the galactomannans derived from fenugreek. Fenugreek is yet another salt, we said yet another interesting spice. So this dietary fiber from fenugreek is isolated by a mechanical and water-based process and that fiber is used as a carrier or as a delivery matrix for the delivery, oral delivery of curcumin. The result, the result was that now the result was curcumin. The curcumin is the bioavailable form of curcumin. So it can actually um, uh, you know, uh, provide high uh, oral bioavailability of free curcuminoids and also it can actually provide the cellular distribution. Our research have shown that the free curcuminoids orally delivering from curcumin can even reach the brain tissues with the improved blood brain barrier permeability. And recently, we did a clinical trial with the University of Kentucky in the cardiovascular area. So the cardiovascular area is something which is, uh, you know, blooming or which is, you know, exploring more and more uh, scientific evidences for the effect of curcumin in the system. So we have seen that even with young obese subjects, 500 milligram of curcumin administration for 12 weeks could reduce the arterial stiffness without any exercise and without any dietary changes to about one meter per second which is something you know this kind of a stiffness is something which is actually creating over a period of 10 years in obese people so this is a very significant and remarkable uh, data uh, which we have come up with uh, by delivering the high free curcuminoids uh, by using our phenomat technology 
Now, more forward-looking, what are maybe some other er areas you'd be interested in as a, as a company? We have we have seen that, of course, you know, we will be going more into the into the various spices. In this respect, uh, one area is the expansion of our natural green phenomat technology for the oral delivery of phytonutrients. We are now expanding this technology to various spices, say for example capsicum. The capsicum is notorious for its pungency, but the capsaicin molecule has shown to be very good for fat metabolism and the energy and calorie burning. We have now a delivery form 100% natural and vegetarian delivery system whereby the chili extracted capsaicin can be encapsulated in the fenugreek fiber for an oral delivery. And we are extending now this technology to other interesting spices like asafoetida, which is a very remarkable traditional spices for gut health. Nobody has explored its potential so far except some academic research. The problem is the delivery form. It is a very oil-rich, sticky, uh, you know, gum-like material. So we actually took this latex, the oleo gum resin of asafoetida, put it in the Fenumat technology and come up with a new ingredient called asafin. Now asafin has been shown to be very good or very active or very effective for functional dyspepsia by our clinical trial. So in this show, we are launching asafin as a new product for gut health. Thank you very much. Thank you.